and move into item eight, the corporate finance report. Um, and um, Bruce, welcome to the table. Thank you for joining us. Um, any introductory remarks on this report, and then we'll move to questions. Uh, good morning, councillors. Thank you. Um, you'll appreciate this is now a monthly report aligning with the performance and, and capital delivery report. There's not a lot that's changed since last month. Um, we have in the financial statistics page on page 38, we have added in some rating information from the draft annual plan. In terms of operating surplus in section 4.2, uh, currently forecasting 11.4 million surplus, uh, incorporating the impacts of COVID. Uh, that's little changed from the report you received last month. Um, we've had some unbudgeted um, trans-waste dividend come in and we've had some additional security costs and costs around Le Bons Bay that, that offset. Uh, the graph um, 4.2.6, the dark green, is our current forecast for year end. You can see it's dipped a little over the last four or five months, principally due to COVID. Uh, other than COVID, it would have been a, a slight increase. Um, in terms of uh, COVID impact, we've outlined a breakdown of that in section 4.4. And in, in relation to the transport, there was a further email this morning uh, giving a bit more detail on, on that section uh, around parking. Um, other than that, the only other comment I would make would probably be to refer you to the a new graph we've incorporated on page 44 around rates arrears more than 90 days. Uh, and you'll see from that that in fact the position is quite good for council. Rate arrears are no higher than they have been over the last five years. Um, you'll see a, a peak around um, February 21, and that was around the time we had the deferral for COVID, um, which is, has now dropped, dropped away to probably its lowest point that it has been for quite some time. Um, that, that's it for comments, if there are any questions. All right, thank you um, very much indeed. And again, a largely positive report, um, a reasonable surplus, which of course, um, as noted in paragraph 4.3 in the report, allows us to avoid additional planned um, COVID borrowing, which can only be a good thing. So moving to questions on this report, are there any questions on the corporate finance report? No questions? All right, so I'm happy to move that we receive the information in the report. Do I have a seconder? Pauline? So moved by myself, seconded by Pauline Cotter. Um, is there any discussion? All those in favour say aye. aye. Against? Anybody against? That's carried. Thank you very much indeed. So now moving.